What if I tell you that you can build a fully blown rag application using Llama Index, Fast API being your backend, Next.js being your frontend in just two minutes. In just two minutes, you can build everything that we have built in this playlist and the generative AI playlist in just two minutes by leveraging the create llama command. So let's try and do it. Welcome back everybody. So I'm here in my code terminal and before we begin, just a little important information uh, that make sure that you have Poetry installed. So Poetry is a tool for dependency management and packaging in Python. So it's like a prerequisite for create llama. Uh, if you don't do it and if you go ahead with create llama command, uh, it's just going to stumble in between and you'll have to start over again. So just make sure you have that as a prereq. So I'm just going to type in uh, create llama. So it's going to ask me a few questions. What is your project name? Let's call it text app. All right. So here I have which template would you like to use? Uh, do you want to build a chat application, a community template example using a llama pack? So let's go ahead with the chat template. Which framework would you like to use Next.js, Express or FastAPI? I'm a bit biased, so I'm going to Go ahead and choose Fast API. Would you like to generate a Next.js front end for your Fast API Python backend? Surely yes. Would you like to set up observability? For now, no. Please provide your OpenAI key. All right. So there we go. And which data source would you like to use? So that's also one great feature. No data, just a simple chat or agent, an example PDF. Use local files dot PDF dot dog dot docs. I think I'm gonna go with just uh, an example PDF. Would you like to add another data source? Nope. Would you like to use Llama Parse? Improve Llama Parser for RAG requires API key. Surely I'll take it. Yes. Please provide your Llama Index Cloud API key. There we go. Would you like to use a vector database? Another great feature. I have all these configurations here. If I'm if I need MongoDB, PostgreSQL, Pinecone. So that's great. But for now, I think I'm good. Just storing the file system. Uh, would you like to build an agent using tools? If so, select the tools here. Uh, no, I don't think we need one for now. All right, so I think we're finally done. How would you like to proceed? Just generate code, start in VS Code, generate and install dependencies, uh, generate code, install dependencies, and run the application. Yep. So this might take a while. So I think we have everything in place. We have our Next.js application running at localhost 3000 and we have our fast API application running at localhost 8000. So let's go ahead and check those out. So this is our fast API application, which comes with default swagger. So as you can see, we have two post requests here. Uh, so this is the format in which we'll be sending uh, our queries to API slash chat. ABI slash chat slash request. Not sure what this is about. Uh, right, so here we have our front end. This is our Next.js application, as it says, built with Llama Index. We have a great looking, decent application which we can use. So I didn't have to write a single line of code for this. I mean, in that context, this is great. We can attach our files. We can even send messages here. So before we do, uh, I think. If you remember, we selected the option where uh, Create Llama enables us to chat with it. its example PDF. So let's go ahead into the code and check out what the PDF is about. And then we can come back and chat with the document. So within the code, we have two segregations. We have the back end and we have the front end. So within the back end, as we can see, we have data over here. Uh, we cannot open this here, so I'm just going to go ahead into the file system and open it. All right, so this is our PDF, and this is about physical standards for letters, cards, flats, and parcels. So we have a couple of descriptions over here and references over here. So this is nice. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about physical standards for cards. 
what are the physical standards for cards? Nice. Right, and we have streaming on as well. And there we have it, physical standard for cards as outlined by, all right, still generating. Da -da 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 -da. Perfect. We also have sources. Nice. This is nice. So cards must be rectangular, minimum dimension, seems elaborative. Uh, let's go ahead and ask something else. All right, what is uniform thickness? What is? All right, so uniform thickness for meal pieces, particularly for flat size mail. So this is from, oh, nice. General definition for flat size mail. Perfect, this seems to be working really great and I really love the experience how I don't have to set up anything and I have all uh, the documentation in place, I have my APIs in place and I have a great uh, front end in place. And uh, just imagine we, uh, there, there's a dedicated playlist in which I build the whole thing in Angular 17. And within this playlist and the generative AI playlist, which I'm gonna hook up into the cards, if you haven't checked it out, please go check it out. Great stuff over there. But the point is that we spent an ample amount of time doing so and the progression in the AI landscape is so commendable that we can just generate everything through uh, a series of commands. Awesome. Let me know what you guys think. I hope this will be useful for you. And if you want to just get up and running real quick to use Llama Index or any other LLM out there. So yeah, I hope it's useful. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.